Hannah's in Pittsburgh. Hey, Hannah, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, I was just wondering if we should pay our mortgage or if we should wait until we have a little bit more saved um, as like a safety net. Okay. Do you have any other debt? No. Okay. You're fairly new to this whole Ramsey stuff, aren't you? Yes. Okay. So we teach a process called the baby steps. And it's how to apply. It's the next step, the next thing, and then the next thing, and the next thing, a clear path from where you are now to wealth. First thing is get $1,000. Second thing is be debt-free but the house. You've done those two, right? Yes. Okay. Then the third step is to have a fully funded emergency fund. Grandma called it a rainy day fund. The proper amount is three to six months of household expenses. What's your household income? Okay. Um, well, I just quit my job, so now it's going to be about 100000 Okay. Are you going back to work? No, I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom for a while. Okay. How much is your house payment? About $650 a month. Wow. Good work, Hannah. Wow. Okay. That's weird. That's wonderfully weird. <laughs> okay. And so, um, okay, so let's pretend that your monthly expenses, if everybody's income stopped, uh, that you could live easily on uh, $4,000 a month. I wouldn't be far from wrong, would I? No. Okay. Three times four is 12. Six times four is 24. So you should have an emergency fund of twelve to $24,000 before you start paying off your house. How much do you have in savings? Um, savings, we have about 95000 <laughs> Okay. Let's allocate 20000 of that to your emergency fund. Now, Everything okay. else is going towards your mortgage. How much is your mortgage balance? Um, about 92000 Great. Okay. So you said you have 95000 in savings? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, the, the way we would teach it is you keep your emergency fund of three to six months. We could call that 15 for fun. That'd be putting 80 on the house, and uh, then you pay off the house, what, by Christmas? If you only yeah. had 15 owed, right? And then if you want to build yeah. up your emergency fund a little further, you could. That's what we would do around here because no house payment is going to make you even more brilliant than you already are, and you're pretty stinking brilliant. Good grief. I love that. <laughs> that was like a slow flex. And we have a $95,000. And $600 house payment. <laughs> Yeah. Translation, so, Hannah, you are well on your way before you ever met anybody called Ramsey, but we'll help you get get there even faster. So, so Dave, one of the one of the criticisms I get is in, let's just this, this situation. How do you tell somebody like because mathematically that's it kind of went in the lottery the six hundred fifty dollars house payment. There's but there's the the umbrella the shadow that sits over you that says somebody else you owe money to right you owe money to somebody else. How would you explain that to somebody that says, no, it's worth it to go ahead and do it? It's worth it to go ahead and pay that thing off, even though your house payment is so low relative to what you're bringing home every month. Because several things happen in addition to the math being freed up. The first thing, number one, the math is freed up, and now you can invest and save um, and, and be generous with your entire income. And it will cause you to be wealthy faster. That's the basic thing. But it's only 600 bucks we're freeing up here, so it's not... Like it's a ton, but it's there. And whatever else extra they were paying or putting into savings. So she's got this vague savings over here that hasn't got a real assignment yet. It doesn't have a mission. The second thing that happens is um, that people that don't have a single piece of debt, you talk about this, they relax in a place they didn't know was tight. Hmm. Their relationships get better. Their employment changes for the better because they don't have to work there. Hmm. Their... Uh, the qual their health improves, yeah. literally. Yeah. I mean, the hypertension that we face in this culture. Whew, yeah. You, you don't. You know, people with way. mortgages don't have as much high blood pressure. Hello. Wow. Just think about it. People that don't have mortgages have peace, financial peace. Two words that don't go together, like airline service.